Good morning! Welcome back or to my channel. It is Saturday around 11.30 and just wanted to uh, take you all along with my getting ready process aka get ready with me and specifically I am going to be driving over to Richmond and visit my friend who's having a going away party and that's at 6 p.m but I want to leave by early afternoon so that I get some time before the party to hang out with my friend and chill and get some late lunch maybe depending on how I'm feeling and um, if I'm hungry but I haven't done a get ready with me in a while so welcome hope that you enjoy and to the one or two or zero people that have any kind of interest in what I currently do for styling my hair and makeup although makeup routine hasn't really changed this video is for you but I sat outside a little bit and it's really sunny and so my hair I feel like is already 50 to 60 percent dry but I'll still blow dry it. Um, what I've been using is this Conair round roller brush and just any hair blow dryer. Okay, this is my mom's blow dryer that I gifted her from Revlon. It's very strong. But what I've been doing since I got curtain bangs is just um, using the round brush and rolling it, rolling my bangs in an upward direction. So let me see if I can demonstrate. So essentially, hold on. Some people just like put all their bangs in the front and then take the blow dryer along with the same direction as your brush. So kind of sink it in and roll. I feel like it doesn't have to be super precise because just the shape of this brush kind of does the, the styling for you so I'm just gonna again put the blow dryer I feel like every time I get a haircut and they do the blowout at the end they use brushes like this but of course there's just the process it's just so sleek and leaves you looking and feeling like a whole new gal and I don't know I just think that they do it so well but I feel like I'm currently only versed in the curtain game for drive. This is the finished blow dry blow out look. My apologies if you were looking for a step by step detailed tutorial because half the time my left hand was cramping up with the roller brush and I was just, there was no technique. I was going through all different parts of my hair, focusing on the bangs of course and just kind of angling it and pulling my hair back to this side while following the blow dry heat on it. So yeah, I don't know if I should leave it like this or part it a little bit more. No, no, no that's not cute. <laughs> let's just, let's just keep it 
like this. I think this is where it naturally goes anyways. Um, but I'll be back to do my makeup. But since I am spending the night at my friend's apartment tonight, I'm going to take my skincare bag, which I love because this thing, kind of like a Mary Poppins bag, can fit all things skincare and bathroom products. So got my contact case. I'm actually just yesterday got the Walita Nourishing Night Cream for the face. And let me just say that applying this felt buttery smooth and I felt like my face was really moisturized when I went to bed. And even when I got up this morning, I just, my skin felt so hydrated and almost like felt plump. So we'll see how over time this makes an impact. I'll be taking this for my night cream, taking this skincare Alba skincare, I mean, not skincare, sunscreen for the morning skincare and take my floss, my toothbrush, um, my little mini toothpaste. What else? My go-to mini hairbrush. And as far as skincare and bathroom products go, that should be it. Um, I'm gonna wear my makeup now and then probably just bring one or two items from my makeup bag for tomorrow since tomorrow I'll be driving back home. So don't need to do a face or anything. That was everything I'm gonna bring in my little skincare bag for my overnight stay. Okay, so I started applying makeup and totally forgot to press the cord, but I applied the Satchu Lip Liner Stain. Let me clip this hair or tie this hair back because it is getting in the way, but um, I forgot to show you all this little bump that I have. You may have seen it. It was growing in size the past week, and it also kind of matched this bump I have, pimple up here. Um, it's definitely overstayed its welcome, but also I've been a little impatient with it. And the other day I was complaining and just kind of getting stressed or frustrated about this bump because it was just emphasized. It was so trying to take up space and just was making itself be seen, you know, just super prominent. Um, and I was complaining about it and my grandma was like, well, you're getting mad at it. So now it's getting mad at you and it's still staying on your face and it's still um, doing its thing and, <laughs> and getting angry at you. And I was like, that is such a good reminder because it's so easy to get annoyed and frustrated about these tiny little imperfections. And I have to remember that, you know, my skin has seen worse days, especially it was like during the peak of COVID, it was really not happy with me and just overall going through it. And it wasn't just particular spots like this and this, it was all over the face. So I have to uh, be thankful for how far it's come. And also just in general, you can apply it to this breakout situation or in any aspect of life when you show frustration or or not when you you can feel it but when you show it and let it stay with you and let it bother you and let it fester then of course the circumstance that you're getting annoyed about is not going to change it's not going to evolve and make things easier for you it's only going to remain the way it is and the moment you choose to look at it a different way or choose to switch up your language and energy when thinking about it or feeling about it or feeling it, then that's when hopefully it resolves itself. So yeah, little life lesson once again from my grandma. <laughs> but okay, anyways, I am getting off track. 
I am just going to, I applied the Rare Beauty foundation. I'm just gonna put that all over my face. I love the amount of coverage this one has. It's not, I feel like it's enough and a good amount of coverage, but doesn't feel heavy or thick on the face. My lip liner is starting to come off and it hasn't even been like 10 minutes yet. Okay, so. Let's rub the face. Also, the other day I found out that Brent Fires was going on tour, so I got so pumped and I went to his Instagram trying to find the website to look at the tour dates and the tickets. And of course, his entire North America tour is sold out. <sighs> Moment of silence. I really, especially in the past year, maybe more than a year, I have been obsessed with his music, his voice, the vibe. Something about his songs are just kind of nostalgic, but also just makes you feel so zen <laughs> and at peace. So I am definitely disappointed that I'm gonna take the lip stain out because it wants to come off. It's been a really busy month and May is not even over yet, so family visiting, lots of family type of events, so I've been trying to squeeze in recording whenever I can. But all good things. So yeah, this is the Sachu lip liner stain in the color mauve. The only thing that's a bit of a hassle is the peeling off part because it gets kind of messy, but okay, so foundation's on. Let's do eyebrows. I think I need to get my eyebrows waxed soon, but in the meantime, just using this e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil in the color... what color this is oh deep brown of these two blushes, Rare Beauty Happy and the Love Shade. She's so creative with the names of these brushes. I, I mean, blushes. It's so cute. Very on brand with Selena Gomez, I feel like. been recently obsessed with this LA Girl lip plumper. I'm totally going out of order with my makeup steps right now, but we shall make do. This is, I like that it's a bit tinted. So I, I think it just looks good with the lip liner stain. Okay. On a day to day, I wouldn't wear liquid eyeliner. I just opt to do, if I do eyeliner, I'll do like a brownish um, pencil eyeliner. But 
I want this I want this eyeliner to last and um last through this evening so I'm gonna do liquid since it's a bit more prominent and yeah so I'm just gonna okay so the wings will never quite be twins but they look kind of related as long as they look a bit related um and almost done i have this new eyelash curler that my cousin recommended it's the shiseido brand and i feel like i've noticed a subtle difference in at least the curl and the lift that this gives my eyelashes so i don't know if you can tell this one's curled and this eye is not curled yet so Okay, both lashes are curled. Sometimes I feel like this probably isn't because of the curler itself, but when I curl it, I can't help but pinch my skin a little bit. It's really frightening, but maybe it's just the weight that I'm holding it or something. Okay, and lastly, my mascara of choice is the Kill Lash Long Curling Mascara, and this is one has me, this one has me really satisfied and I feel like it really lengthens my lashes. I feel like when you actually apply the mascara is when you can notice the magic of the eyelash curler. Okay, it's about like two coats of mascara and your girl is finally done i just need to pick an outfit so i will give you all the outfit choice but in the meantime oops i'm gonna wear some hoop earrings because i don't have any earrings in my first first hole right there there we have it that's the makeup and hair stay tuned for the outfit thinking that this is going to be the outfit and yeah if need be and we go out tonight and i feel like this could be suitable for a good night out transition maybe not this top but i can always borrow one from my friends so this is that outfit i'm gonna wear my veja sneakers and maybe take some black little sandal heels with me for nighttime but that was it for my get ready with me video thank you so much for watching and don't forget to show this video some love by liking commenting and subscribing and turning on that bell and i will see you very soon